Welcome back, everyone. We are on the shaft guide, which is a uh, it's a standard inch IPT. Already got the drawing up here, and it looks like we got aluminum sixty sixty one, which is a very standard material used in industry. And when I start on this one, I, I'll start out with I'm going to start. I want to draw this right here on the this uh, profile out, and right here is a great place to start because it is. Um, where the work planes all meet, and that is my origin right there. So it's a good spot to start. Uh, got a radius of one point or 0 0.75, which you're on diameters. Got to times it by two, makes it 1.5. Then got a 0 0.75 diameter on the inside. Looks like a whistle, don't it? So right up here at the top is going to be a quadrant. Comes straight over 1.75. Straight down, 0.6. We're going to bring it all the way back and touch it right there. Now you notice it's got a, some notes, rounds, and fillets, 0.125. So this would be 0.125, and, and these on the ends would be. So grab me a fillet. And you notice it won't do it right there. The reason being is because it's got an intersection here with this line. So i got to trim it out. Just like that. Now you shouldn't have any issues of it falling in line. So good. That's another circle in here. and You can kind of track it from the midpoint. I'll bring it back. It's 0.25. And then it's got to make sure dimension wise. 0.4. I just want to make sure it's 0.3. It is good. So everything looks okay here. So finish my sketch out. Extrude. Catch all that. This is a quarter inch thick. I'll show you a little trick here. It adds another step to it, which that's fine. Start you another sketch on this back side. And all you got to do, see how it's showing up here? If it doesn't show you like it's wanting to uh, connect to it and snap to it, you can just project your geometry and then click it and hit wheel. But I just grabbed me a circle and I didn't get it on that center point all the way to the top. And another one all the way to right there. Finish sketch. Extrude. And this one here is 0.25. The overall is 1, so it'd just be 0.75, right? 1 minus 0.25, and there you have that. It's looking good so far. Now, there's different ways that you can put this hole in. I'm sure it goes all the way through. I want to show you a trick, and we're going to get into a lot more of this, working with planes and axes a little bit later. But you all remember here in our origin, you had your YZ, your XZ, and XY. We, we draw it in our XY there. We start it. If you'll notice your XZ, if I hold it there, it goes right through the center of this thing. You see that? Well, if I right-click on that, I can turn the visibility on it. And I can start me a sketch on that work plane. Or I could just click right there, either way I wanted to do it. And put me a plane there. Well, now what do I do? I can't see everything, right? If you want to see this and you want this little piece took off of it, all you have to do is go to View. And you've got what's called, um, let's see if I can find it, slice graphics, okay? And F7 is the hot key for that. You can hit F7. And sometimes I'm, where I'm on a certain type of computer, it's not letting me, but I click on it, it cuts it out. Y'all see that? And now all I have to do is go back into my sketch mode. I project my geometry. So I want to bring that up and that up. I'll shoot me a line straight across. When I do that, I just put me a circle in. Right there. 0.25. Finish my sketch. Extrude. If I look around there, there's that hole in there. And uh, just to make things a little bit, uh, well, it's okay. We got extrusion already up, so I'll go in there and I try to get it chosen. I want to cut this, but I want to cut it both ways. 
and then OK. Well, what happened? So if you goof up, it did cut a little bit, but it didn't cut much. So I go down to, the, and I find it. Oh, there it is. I want it to go both ways, but I want it to through all. Y'all see that? And a cut. And there it is. So if you want to turn that plane off, you can. It's really simple like that. And again, this one is a aluminum 6061. So you come up here and right click, I properties, physical, and find your aluminum 6061 should be in alphabetical order. And you can get your uh, mass and your volume here. So just apply that and you've got it. If you need help, let me know.